in any case, I want to welcome you all here and thank you for coming. Um, the uh, We have a wide range of attendees uh, here from government agencies to associations to individual practitioners, and uh, we're delighted to, uh, to share our findings from a survey and uh, a, a roundtable that we did um, in the uh, middle of last year. Um, what we found uh, around this alliance, we started about two and a half years ago. It's a um, group of folks that represent many of them here, uh, the Obesity Society, uh, Disease Management Association of America, broad range of folks, uh, including the business, uh, National Business Group on Health, the Service Employees International Union, um, and, it, and it is a cross-section of the, of the stakeholders who are affected by obesity and overweight and um, their, the chronic diseases that are associated with them, like diabetes and cardiovascular disease. Um, and what we've seen over the past two and a half years is this phenomenal growth of interest and recognition of this problem as a growing and important problem that is indeed something that can be addressed and how it fits into our healthcare system as a whole. Um, we are delighted to see the First Lady's interest in this issue around childhood obesity and her um, focus as well on parents, because we all know that um, without a focus on adults uh, who are the role models for our children, addressing ch childhood obesity and reversing childhood obesity is going to be a very difficult thing to do. So we are here to talk about uh, two things. One is a survey of decision makers. Uh, two years ago, we put together a survey of employers and employees and released the contrasting uh, thoughts and opinions of those uh, two groups on the issue of uh, health insurance in the workplace and the coverage of issues related to obesity and whether or not employers and employees felt that obesity was an issue that should be addressed in the workplace and the workforce. We had some very interesting findings there, and so we decided to do a second survey um, of decision makers, but this time with, uh, with um, primary care physicians and uh, patients, consumers, patients. And what we're going to look through today is some of the top findings from that survey. And in addition, we are going to uh, announce or uh, release a white paper on primary care and its relationship to obesity and overweight. And that paper, uh, which, which you have in your packets uh, in front of you, covers five different areas that a wide cross-section of folks felt uh, needed to be addressed in the in the healthcare system, um, and so we are delighted again to have all of you here. We'll go through the findings from both the survey and the paper, and of course, uh, I want to introduce uh, Dr. Carmona. We are absolutely thrilled to have had from the inception of the Stop Obesity Alliance the active participation and guidance from our 17th United States Surgeon General, uh, especially in the issues that, uh, that he knows firsthand um, around primary care. Uh, Dr. Carmona's perspectives, both from a policy and a medical background, really have added tremendous dimension to our work, uh, have clearly um, helped us deepen our understanding of the issues that we face, and also uh, have led to some really interesting conversations about the kinds of questions we ought to be asking. 